Hey everyone, it's Mike. I review nootropics and during this video today, we're going to talk about three nootropics I see as very underrated as far as the effectiveness, their price and the potential side effects. I've already made a video on some of the overrated nootropics, which I will link right here. This is going to be quite informative since, as you probably know, nootropics are by no means inexpensive, although they're a great investment in yourself. And nootropics have significantly made me a lot of money. I'm talking about a 10 times, even 100 times return on investment, especially being in a commission-based job selling residential real estate. That's what I do. Here's the very first nootropic. It's ashwagandha, specifically the extract called Shodan. With ashwagandha, you can get the roots, you can get different extracts, but this one specifically called Shodan seems to relax you more so than the others. With ashwagandha, it's kind of a double-edged sword in the sense that it will calm you down, but it may also be responsible for demotivating you to some extent. So that's why some people do avoid avoid shodan because if you're a bit too relaxed all the time, heck, it's very easy to avoid work and be somewhat complacent. So with shodan, the way in which I would recommend it is let's say if you're maybe getting over some sort of tragedy or you're in a very like stressful state in your life where you need to like kind of um, emotionally rebuild yourself up, then it is especially appropriate. Since taking the shodan, I've definitely gotten like a lot more um, clarity with my life. I'm more creative. I can better decide when it comes to like making big decisions. And I would say it's pretty inexpensive considering everything it does. And when it comes to side effects, nothing you should be too concerned about. Um, with ashwagandha, be mindful of the fact that it can significantly raise your thyroid. So if you have any thyroid issues, then I would definitely recommend you consult with your uh, general practitioner before introducing it to your daily supplement regimen. And the way in which it's advised to take this is 120 milligrams once per day, or perhaps 100 milligrams twice per day. But I think 120 milligrams once per day is good enough. And that seems to be the dose which is shown in the majority of studies out there. Taking 120 milligrams of Shodan once daily for six weeks had positive results with falling asleep easier, sleeping for a much longer period of time, better increasing the quality of your sleep, and actually reported measures of quality of life. As the participants mentioned at the end of the study that they were feeling physically better and psychologically better. All the forms of ashwagandha do have benefits, and I've talked about them in depth in this video over here, which goes across different types of ashwagandha and how to take them. I would highly recommend that you check that video out. By the way, if you're getting value from this video and you'd like to support me, then do click subscribe and click the bell notification. And nootropic number two is Tongkat Ali. It's also known as Malaysian ginseng. It's a shrubby tree that's found in Southeast Asia. I've been using this nootropic for a year now and I've seen really good results and pretty much all the signs of it building my testosterone naturally and in a very safe fashion. The stuff is such that when you take it, you're going to start having better workouts. You're going to have an increased libido. And as far as it being a nootropic, you'll find that you actually have uh, better energy levels during the course of the day and things seem to not stress you out as much as they typically would. Some users of Tonkat Alley actually call it the natural Viagra out there. And there's quite a fair bit of research showing that it can really treat erectile dysfunction. Here's a really neat study on Tonkat Alley where they took 63 subjects and what they found was after taking Tonkat Alley daily for four weeks versus a placebo, there was benefits with tension, with anger, and confusion. And furthermore, Tonkat Ali was shown to reduce cortisol levels and increase testosterone status quite significantly. It increased testosterone by 37%, concluding clearly that this ancient remedy may be a, an effective approach to shielding the body from the detrimental effects of modern chronic stress, which may include general day-to-day -day stress, as well as the stress of dieting, sleep, and exercise training. But the biggest surprise that I've had since taking Tonka Alley over the course of the past year is that, is that it is definitely a great nootropic for improving your physique. I'm personally taking 200 milligrams once per day. And shout out to Nootropics Depot because they've made a very potent version of this product. One of them is called 2% Eurocominones. They've also got 10% uh, Eurocominones. And if you want to learn more about Tonka Alley so you can decide which type is best for you, depending maybe if you want more of a libido boost, maybe if you want more benefits with your mood, check out this video over here. It's called How to Take Tonkat Alley. Don't make the same mistake that I made using this nootropic and that I was taking it on an empty stomach, but if you take it on an empty stomach, you'll likely feel very nauseous. You may even want to feel like you want to vomit. So the best way to take it is with a large meal, maybe 30 minutes after eating a meal. And the great news is it's not in any way stimulating. So if you want to take it within a few hours of sleeping, then that's perfectly 
fine. It's fairly safe otherwise. It's pretty inexpensive considering how strong it is. And if you want to consume it with other nootropics, usually that's okay. I often take my Tonka at Ali alongside with ashwagandha. I then feel somewhat energized and at the same time, present and in a good resourceful state. Moving now on to nootropic number three, and that's Nupept. I just took a little bit of this prior to shooting this video because when I take Nupept, I'm definitely um, energized, I'm laser focused, it's very easy to eliminate distractions, and I feel like I'm on point as far as my recall and my verbal fluency. So with this nootropic, I think the biggest mistake people make is they don't give it enough time to like measure the results and seeing if it's working. Trust that with Nupept, you may not noticing it working the same day because it's not gonna energize you like caffeine would, but as far as the results go, Take it for a month and you'll definitely see better results, whether it's improving your income or even achieving better grades if you're a student. It's absolutely critical for neuroplasticity and for learning and you really feel sharp when you take it. Like let's say if you're in the job interview, you'll find that you're easily able to come up with responses and it does some neat things as far as like improving your hand-eye coordination, even if you're a gamer. This is one of the most versatile nootropics out there because it'll help you in so many different ways. It'll help with your memory, it'll help you with your anxiety, it'll help you with your focus, it'll help you with your mood. Here's what it looks like. You can see this is like a small tub because this is fairly potent stuff. We're talking doses of five to 10 milligrams. And as you can see, it's like this white powder. Here's how to take Nupept. You'll find it in either a capsule form or in powder form. If it is in capsule, you'll usually find it in 10 milligram to 30 milligram pills, but I prefer taking it in the powder form. I take a little bit just right under my tongue and I leave it there for about 30 seconds. That'll typically be something like 10 milligrams twice per day. Note with Nupep that you can build a tolerance fairly easily, so I would recommend that you do cycle off of it. Something like taking four weeks on followed by one week off, or some people like taking five days on, like weekdays on and then weekends off, that's okay too. It doesn't taste that bad, Nupep. And don't be concerned about whether or not you take it with a meal. It doesn't really matter. I've gone through periods when I've used it with a meal or used it fasted and I've still seen really good benefits. And side effects you should be aware of are headaches. Also brain fog is fairly common, but sometimes that may be because you're just taking too much of this stuff. Again, it's fairly potent, so be mindful of that. And then I would also recommend that you do pair it with a choline source like Alpha GPC. I made an in-depth video about choline and Alpha GPC in this video, which I will link over here. A few other underrated nootropics worth pointing out based on the feedback from all of you would firstly be creatine, which is most usually used to build muscle. However, it does also act as a really good nootropic to enhance energy levels and increase alertness while being relatively safe. The next nootropic would be theobromine, which is pretty much like the active ingredient found in cocoa that's responsible for its antioxidant effects. Some people feel very clear-minded, and at the same time, theobromine can act as a very mild stimulant. And the next nootropic would be N-acetylcysteine, which is an antioxidant that people take and actually report feeling less irritable, being in a better mood. Some people have even reported that it helps to eliminate OCD-like behavior. So that's my take on three underrated nootropics, but if you haven't seen the video on three overrated nootropics, I would highly recommend you watch that right over here. And if you'd like to support me, then do click subscribe and click the bell notification as I post videos at least once a week, and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.